Hello, Chronication. Welcome to Saturday, day 42. Today, I wanted to tell you we have some special stuff coming up. Um, we have Tyler Woodard teaching us how to make banana bread. If you haven't made banana bread this Chronication, you're missing out. I made a huge, awesome loaf and then ate it for breakfast for a week. It was amazing. Um, but if you don't have any bananas at home, don't worry. We've had other challenges. You could still do day 35. Go back and make a mask with Miss Amy. Or man, she taught us how to make bread on day 39. And man, uh, Victor, he taught us that Fortnite dance last Sunday on day 36. So you can go back, check out some of these other episodes. It's awesome. Today's Saturday though. So Andrew, I'm going to turn things over to you. Is there anything you want Coronacation to know on Saturday? Um, you might want to go into your kitchen and check the drawers. What are you doing? Oh, Corey, you're crazy, man. So on this Saturday, I am getting ready to go help my brother and sister-in-law move. And so I don't really have time today to teach you a game, but there are a few things that I want to remind you of. Um, one, like Corey said, there's a lot of places that are opening back up, like restaurants and stuff. And so if you're out and about and you're going to eat some good food that you've been missing for a long time, just remember to be safe. Uh, remember to practice social distance. Don't get too close. Wash your hands. Um, do all the things that, that keep you clean. Do that. You know, wear a mask if you can and wear gloves. Because uh, we just still don't know a lot about this virus, but we also don't want to live in fear. Um, and so definitely practice caution. And let's see, there's a game that me and the boys have been playing together. It is, uh, it's like, I, we don't really have a name for it. It's a drawing challenge. Um, and basically what I'll do with the boys is I will just say, hey, draw a cow jumping over a rainbow. And what they will do is I'll, I'll set a timer and they'll just start drawing for eight minutes, 10 minutes, however long I set the timer. And then when we're done, they get to tell a story about it. We've also just done, you know, hey, draw whatever you want in the next eight minutes and then tell a story about it. And there's another thing that we've been doing that I think is a very, very, very important. We've been exercising, Corey. I don't know if you've been exercising, but we have. And you know, it only takes um, my boys, which are seven and five, it only takes them about 10 minutes to go outside and run a mile. Well, that, that's without stopping. And that's kind of a, 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 that's a nice steady pace for a kid. So I challenge you to get outside, run a mile, because it's beautiful outside. Run a mile or however far you want to run just to get you some exercise, you know? You definitely want to run further than a minute because that doesn't really get your heart rate up. But get outside, do some exercise. Um, be creative, maybe draw something today. Draw, go outside and sit and draw something. Um, there's tons of things that you can draw. I was watching two Cardinals play in my yard this morning. Um, I don't know that they were playing. I think they might have been fighting, but I'm gonna say that they were playing. But yeah, just get outside. Remember to be safe today. Um, and as you travel about and things start to open back up, be creative, still, still do things that, that really uh, get your mind going and create um, and exercise get that energy out use that energy love you guys and we will see you in the morning sunday morning see you then hey coronacation tyler woodard checking in with you guys hope everyone is doing well this is my son hey. chandler um, he is going to help me today we are baking banana bread uh, we were asked to bake something i love to bake i love making desserts um, some of my specialties are uh, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookie cake, and most recently I've gotten into donut holes. Um, but we have some bananas that need to be used, um, so we are going to make some banana bread. So first, uh, here goes in is the butter. Go buddy. Pour that in there. Start our mixer, and now the sugar goes in. Awesome. I'm gonna let this mix for a minute. Get it all in there and keep it all, all stay yeah. keep, it, keep it over. You're about to spill it out. Of that yeah, there you go. All right, we're gonna get that, and now the 
Okay, we'll go in. Um, before we started the video, we turned the oven to 350, so it's preheating at 350. Alright, the eggs. And now, we're going to let those eggs mix a little bit, so... You can do fast motion here, Corey, if you want. Time lapse. Alright, now we got some milk going in. Good. It looks like the sugar and butter looks like applesauce. It probably tastes pretty good too. If you like sugar and butter. Alright, now we are gonna put the main ingredient of banana bread. The bananas. No surprise there, right? Alright, they're nice and mashed. Now when you use uh, when you make banana bread, you can't use um, fresh bananas. They have to be older bananas. Uh, so I had four bananas that needed to be eaten um, and they are ready to go. The reason is is because they get all soft and gooey and when they bake uh, and you put them in your banana bread they cook into it really well. But if you use a ripe banana or something that's relatively fresh it doesn't it doesn't bake very well into the bread um, and you get chunks of banana. Now you might like that um, I don't. My mom has made banana bread for years, so this is a recipe that she has always used. So we're going to put these in the mixture now. All right, you ready, Chandler? Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. All right, bananas are in. Check. Now we'll let those get nice and mixed. We'll crank it up a little bit on the mixer. So they get nice and mushy. Daniel oh. just crawl through the kitchen, staying out of the shop. Alright, now we'll add the vanilla. Turn it down a little. Here you go, Chandler. Sam has got our kitty cat. Mr. Cass and Andrew Witter. All right, now the flour is going to go in next. Um, let's, let's don't pour it all in at once. Just kind of like like this. I'll show you. Kind of tap it in. Flour is going in. All right, like that. Chandler's going to do that. Now the flour is what makes the bread rise, makes it all doughy and good. So that's going to go. It's going to get some good stuff. There we go. Good job, son. Again. Ooh, we got a nice flour poof there. Oh yeah, now it's getting real gooey. Uh, if you want to come in, Dave's behind the camera. Dave's operating the camera. Check out our banana bread. It's getting there. And last, um, here we got the salt going in. Just dip it in there. And the baking soda. Now one thing we like to add, uh, which we haven't done in a while because we haven't done banana bread, are chocolate chips. So we're going to throw some chocolate chips in the mix. Chandler, go ahead. Get those all mixed in there. Chandler would like to eat some, so go ahead buddy. The nice thing about baking, when you're helping, or being the baker, you get to sample everything. He's getting the rest of them. They're good. Oh, it's good. Right. We got all that mixed in. We got all that mixed in, so now we're just going to let it mix a little longer, and then we're going to pour it into our pan here. Let's take a look. Get a little tap. This off. Yeah, yeah. Can I try some? You can try some when it's done. All right. Here's our banana mix, banana bread all mixed up. We are gonna put it in the pan and put it in the oven. And in about an hour, we'll have some nice 
fluffy banana bread to try. I'll send a picture when it's done. a five by eight loaf pan that it goes in. It's gonna rise um, pretty high afterwards, after we're done baking out of the pan. Look at that gooey gooey goodness going in there. All right, you can pan back out. Okay. All right, well thanks for joining us um, for Tyler and Chandler Bake. Maybe we'll turn that into a YouTube channel. Uh, and show off some different baked goods. Thank you, Dave, for operating the camera, and thank you, Coronacation, for asking us to do this. Uh, we will see you on the other side in about an hour of the banana bread.